Um, this tutorial will show you how to make a short animated loop out of a sprite sheet and save it as a PNG file, uh, a file that's easily exported to Flash. So the first part of this series of videos will show you how to animate the, the cycle into a single PNG file. And the second part will show you how to export that file and then use it in a simple motion tween in Flash CS5. I'm working today in Fireworks CS5 and the first thing you need to do to complete this little project is to go online and find uh, a sprite sheet for a character. Um, sprite sheets are generally captured from video games and in this case I have uh, a sprite sheet of the Hulk taken from a Super Nintendo game and uh, what I did was I cropped out just the one walk cycle that I was interested in using um, it was part of a larger sprite sheet which featured all of the different movements that this character makes in the game so once you've got your sprite sheet and you've decided which cycle you want to animate um, the first thing you should do is uh, grab the magic wand tool and um, get rid of any background colors that are behind the character. In this case it's blue. Uh, in, a, in any sprite sheet you might download there might be a white background there. Either way you're going to want to get rid of it because if you animate with the background intact and then export it to flash there's going to be a white box around your character. So I have a tolerance of 32 and a hard edge which normally isn't ideal but in this case the sprite sheet is very pixelated so a hard edge will, will work fine. I'm going to highlight the blue and get rid of it. And that checkerboard pattern behind him means that that's a clear now transparent section of this image. And in my case here I've got a little bit of blue And some other nooks and crannies, so I'm going to get rid of those too. Okay. The next thing we want to do is to copy the first state of this walk cycle. So I'm going to highlight the Hulk and copy that and then open a new fireworks file. Now at this point I'm just going to pause because I've noticed that my character is in the middle of his stride in this walk cycle. But if you look down two frames he's got his legs and his arms outstretched and so he's actually wider in this image than in the first. So I'm going to actually have to extend the width of my canvas because if you have something copied to the clipboard, Fireworks will automatically size any new document to that, to whatever's on the clipboard. So this is going to be too skinny. I'll make it about 70. And I want to make sure that the canvas color is transparent, just so that it's obvious that I'm pasting transparent backgrounds. Okay. And I don't want to resample. I do want to zoom in there we go and I'm gonna center him to my image and then it's a simple matter of going back grabbing the next frame copying and now if you look over to the right when you open fireworks likely layer you're gonna have the layers tab selected so you will wanna switch over to the states each each state that we have is only gonna have the one layer of the Hulk on there um, we're interested in the states in CS5 this tiny little button here we'll add a new state and then we can paste in our Hulk okay. 
make sure I've got the arrow and center him again. Then it's a simple matter of continuing to go through selecting, copying, new state, paste, etc, etc. I won't go through the all eight of the different states in this cycle. Let's do one more. Now let's assume I've pasted all eight. The next step is you want to watch it to see what it looks like. And it actually looks fairly close. Keep in mind that we're missing half of the cycle. So it kind of just looks like he's kicking. But what you can do with fireworks is extend your view to see the frame or the state before and the state after. I'm seeing state one in the front and I can see like a hint of the of state two behind it. And this is how you line up your frames. Depending on the movement, you want to use different anchors. In this case, it's a simple walk, so I'm going to be thinking about the ground, where the ground is, and I should try to align his feet with every state so that it looks like he's walking on the ground. So you're looking for his footfall. If it's a if it's a good walk cycle, his upper body will bounce a little bit, so the, his head is not really a good place to anchor it. But if you're doing a jump, it's going to be completely different. So let's Okay, so once you have all eight, and they're all lined up, it's a simple matter of saving this as a PNG file. Somewhere in your hard drive where you're going to remember where to find it again later. And don't give it a generic name, or else you'll never find it again. I'll call mine Hulk Walk. And it's going to be a PNG, because that allows for the transparency and the different states. And now to learn how to import into Flash, um, click on the next video in this two-part series.